Hi guys and welcome to my channel and thanks for stopping by and watching. So this is a 17 spray paint art video in the beginners tutorial series and in this one I'm going to show you how to add palm trees to your paintings. I'll also be adding a sun and some water to the background. I'll be using the same glossy card which is A3 in size and the same spray paint as the previous tutorials in the series which is Montana White. Also, if you're new to this series and interested in learning more about how to make art with spray paint, you can find the previous tutorials in the series here in the cards or in the description box below. So I hope you will enjoy watching and find this tutorial helpful. And if so, give it a thumbs up and please share with your friends and family or anyone that you think may be interested in learning this type of art. And also, if you're a new visitor to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss out on future spray paint art videos. It'd be very much appreciated. Right then, the first thing we'll be doing is the background, which will be the sun and sky. So for this part, I'll be using the colours red, orange and yellow. And they are chilly and hot lips, which is red, bright orange, which is orange, and sunflower and saffron, which is yellow. So the first thing we'll be adding to the background is the sun. For this we'll be using a lid stencil to get the shape of the sun. So with the lid stencil we'll place it on the sheet where the sun is going to be and spray around it with a colour. I'll be using yellow for this as it's the lightest colour I'm using in the sky. So what we'll do is we'll get the lid stencil and place it on your painting where the sun's going to go. I'll have mine there. Now with the lightest yellow I'm going to spray round it to give you an outline. So give the cans a good shake. So just spray an outline round it. Light coat of paint. Right, and then we'll take it off and put the lid there for later on. Right now we have the outline for the sun. We can start to fill the outline in with some colours. Which will be red, orange and yellow. So the first colour we'll add is the reds and that will be at the bottom and then the orange in the middle and then the yellows at the top. So I'll just show you that now. So we'll get the darkest red first, hot lips. And spray a bit at the bottom. And then with chilli, the lighter red. Spray just above it. And now with the orange, bright orange. And then sunflower, the darker yellow of the two. Let me just get this air or something off here. And then with a light yellow, we'll just spray a bit of the top. So that's the colours added to the sun. And what you want to do now is to leave it to dry for a while, around 10 or 15 minutes, before placing the lid stencil on. Because if the paint is still wet, and you place the lid stencil on, it'll stick to the paint, and may pull some of the paint off when you take it back off later. Just remember there's no rush, take your time and let each layer dry before moving on to the next. But for the purpose of this video I'm just going to go ahead and place a lid stencil on without letting the paint dry. So if it does stick and pull some of the paint off you can see what I'm on about. So I'll get the lid stencil and place it over your sun where you want it to be. I'll put mine there. Right, that's the lid stencil on and we'll move on to adding the sky. For this we'll be using the same colours as we used in the sun, but the opposite way round. Starting with the yellow at the bottom, then the orange in the middle, and the red at the top. So we'll start with the yellow at the bottom. We're going to have the sky going to about here somewhere. So we'll get the lightest yellow first. And spray it down here at the bottom. And 
Now we've got darker yellow sunflower. And then the orange. And then the lighter red, chili. And then the darker red, hot lips. And I'm just going to go over it again and then we'll blend them in. Blend them in a bit more. The we'll lighter yellow first. And then we'll go the darker yellow and the, the orange. And then the lighter red. And then hot lips over top again. So there are the colours added for the sky. So I'm just going to add a bit of black over top here. So all I'm going to do is put a thin line in. And then what you can do is you can blend the red back into the black. So with hot lips, we'll just spray a bit over black. Just pressing the cap lightly. And then we'll just go and do a fine line of black right over top. You could just step away, look at the painting. And if you want to add something else to the sky, you can. I'm just going to add a bit, a bit of light red here, I think. A bit of light red here. So that's the sky added now. So we'll lift the lid stencil back off to reveal your sun. We'll put the lid over there. Right then, that's the lid stencil off, and I really like how this sun has come out. I really like the colours. Right then, that's the sky finish, so I'll move on to adding some water to the painting. So for this part, we'll be using a straight edge and the same colours as we used in the sky. But this time, we'll be going side to side, starting with the reds on each side, then the orange, and then the yellow in the middle. I'll also be adding a line of white down the middle of the yellow. Then after adding all the colours for the water, I'll be rubbing my finger from side to side while moving down to make the water. So I'll just show you that. So for this tutorial I'm going to be using this metal paint scraper. This is a large paint scraper and it's sometimes called a decorator's tool. But if you haven't got one of these, you can always use a spare piece of card as a straight edge, something like this. Or you could use a piece of wood with a straight edge, or anything with a straight edge on would work. Right then, so with a straight edge, we'll place it on the painting, where we're going to start the water. So I'm going to have mine about there. Like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to spray reds, orange, yellows, and then the white down the middle. So with a darker red first, we'll spray on each side. And then the next red, the lighter red, chili. And then the orange. And then a darker yellow, sunflower. 
and then the lighter yellow saffron down the middle and then with the white we'll just put a line of white down the middle and then we'll pull the scraper off so you'll end up something like this after you've added the colours for the water you could always leave it like this if you like the look of it but for this tutorial I'm going to use a finger technique to make the effect of water. So what I'm going to do first before I show you the finger technique is I'm just going to wet the paint back up with a clear coat. This is just so it's easier to move my finger across the painting when I do the water effect. So all we're going to do is spray the clear coat over it, give it a light coat. So that's a clear coat added and all we're going to do is get your finger like this and we're just going to go from side to side across the painting. So I'm just going to hold the painting here just slightly with my finger and then we're just going to go from side, see the painting will move. So we're just going to go from side to side across the painting. And then you can go back up if you want. I've got a bit of white there, you could always just go over that piece there. So I'm just going to lift this back up and put it back over a bit. So that's the water added using the finger technique and we'll move on to adding some mist where the sky meets the water. So for this part we'll be using the straight edge again and the white and yellow spray paint. Right then we'll get the straight edge again and place it on the painting where your water meets the sky. There. And then with the white We'll just spray, you want to hit the white halfway up your straight edge. So when you're spraying, if you overspray, it makes a mist. And then with the lighter yellow. And I'm just going to give it a light coat of white again. And while we've got the stray edge on, I'm going to go back to water. I'm just going to add a bit of black to each side of it, darken each side of it up. Just a light spray with the cap. And then this side. And then with the red, we'll just blend a bit of it back into the black. Just makes the edges darker on the water. So as you saw then, the straight edge stuck to the paint there. That's because I used a clear coat before on the water and it wetted the paint back up here on the sky as well. So when I put the scraper on the top to, uh, to put the mist in, the scraper stuck a bit. Like I said before, just let each layer dry before moving on to the next. Right then, with the mist done, that's the background finished and now we'll move on to adding some rocks and palm trees in the foreground. For this, the only colour I'll be using is black and I'll also be using a paintbrush to add the palm trees. So the first thing we'll be adding are the rocks and for this I'll be using a piece of spare card to make the shape of some rocks. So to do the rocks you want a piece of card and fold it in half. 
and then bend one side of the card a bit so you don't have a straight line when you spray the rocks. And for the other half you want to just put a slight bend in it. So I'm just going to show you that now. So we'll get a piece of card like this. I'm just going to fold it in half. Just like that. And then what you want to do is you just just bend the card a bit. Some creases in it. Now I'll just put a bit of crease in this one, bend. Then you get something like that. Now we have a piece of card folded, we can add the rocks to the painting. So the first set of rocks are going to go here somewhere, round here, and then the second set of rocks are going to go round here, this area. So we'll get a piece of card we folded, and then we're going to use a black, then we're just going to place a card where we're going to have the rocks. So I'm going to have the first ones here, I think. So we'll just place a piece of card there where your rocks are going to go and then just spray some black and then lift the card up so that's the first rock there and we'll add the second rocks here so I'm going to do it like this so we'll have the card there and we'll just hold it down a bit and then just spray the black and then lift the card back off right now we have the rocks in place we can now add the palm trees into the painting so to do these we'll need to spray some of the black into a spare pot or whatever you're using and with a paintbrush we'll paint the palm trees. So the paintbrushes I'll be using for the palm trees are a flat brush and a fan brush. So something like these. A small flat brush and then a fan brush like this. And all I'm going to do is spray the black into this pot here. So we'll get the black and spray some into it. So that's the black there in the pot. Just going to have a spare piece of card as well. If I need to wipe any of the paint off the paintbrush, I can just wipe it on there first, give it a dab. So just before I add the palm trees to the painting, I'm just going to go over these rocks with the paintbrush. As they look a bit too straight, a few straight lines in them. So you could always add these with a paintbrush instead of using the folded card to add them. It's entirely up to you which way you do it. So I'm just going to get a bit of black on this paintbrush. I'm just going to put a few bumps in here. Just bring it out a bit more there I think. And then the same on this side. Just put a bit of a bump there. And then, just make them a bit more rocky shape. So there the rocks done, just added a bit more of a shape to them. So now we'll add the palm trees, so we'll add the trunks in first using the flat brush. We'll put some paint on the paint brush. 
and then I think I'll have one here, so. See, this Montana white is a bit thinner than the other Montanas in the range, the other paint in the range. So as you can see when I'm doing the lines, the paint's a lot thinner. So the colours underneath are going. I'm just going to do these once and I might, I'll go over these again in a minute. And I'm going to have one. Almost have an hole in this pot. Let me put it on this card. So I'm going to put one over here. Um, there, I think. I'll put one here. So when you're doing your trunks, you want to come up with your flat brush and then as you're going up, just turn it slightly so you get it thinner at the top. Just put that flat brush there, over here. So there are the palm tree trunks in now. So what I'm going to be doing now is adding the leaves to the palm trees. But before I add the leaves in, I'm just going to put the painting onto a piece of wood so I can easily move the painting while doing the palm tree leaves. So what I'm going to do is be putting it on a piece of wood like this. So I'm just going to lift it up and place the painting onto it. Like that. So it just makes it easier to move it, turn it while you're um, doing the leaves. Well, I'm just going to wipe this paint off here. This pool of paint. So to do the palm tree leaves, I'll be using the fan brush like this. And I'll be moving the paint in a bit so I can paint the leaves in. So we'll get some paint on the fan brush. And the first leaves I'm going to start over here. So I'm going to move the paint in around like this. So what you can do is just practice beforehand. So we're just going to be flicking it like this. So we're just going to move it ready to do a paint. So, first one I'm going to put in is here. Just make sure you add, keep a paintbrush with a lot of paint on it. And we'll turn it back around this side. As we're going down, just move it. They do take a bit of practice, these palm tree leaves. I can go back here and do a 
few at the bottom. So that's the first one done and we'll move on to this one here. So just take your time. So what we're going to do is we just get a fan brush and you just flick it up. So you just get it. And then just turn the painting as you're adding the leaves. So we'll add some more paint. So keep turning. So we'll add some on this side. Remember, keep keep quite a bit of paint on your paintbrush. There's no rush when doing this. Just practice. Take your time. So that's your second palm tree. Now we'll move on to these others. So these are a bit smaller. Just practice. You can always practice these on a spare piece of card before adding them into your painting. So I need more paint on there. See, so adding more paint. I don't really like these ones here, but so I'll leave that one and we're gonna move on to the last one. So it's just a flick. Load the paint brush back up with some paint. And we'll do the other side of it. So there the palm trees done and we can just add like a bit to the top of these if you want it just a small piece small flick there and a piece there so I think I'm just gonna add a bit, a bit here up here So you can just go over your painting and add some more if you want. So 
but I think that'll do for the palm trees so I'm just going to get some more black and go back over these trunks with it make them a bit blacker So if you go back over the paint, you start smudging it, the paint underneath comes back off, it starts showing through. So there the palm tree's finished. Just remember what I said. If you want to have a practice before adding them to your painting, just get a spare piece of card and practice doing them. And then once you feel comfortable, add them to your painting. So that's the painting finished, but before I sign a painting, I'm just going to give the painting a coat of clear coat. I use this to give the painting a layer of protection, and it also adds a glossy finish to your paintings. You don't have to do this part, it's up to you to what finish you want on your painting. So to do this all you have to do is spray the clear coat from side to side and move up the painting as you're spraying it. So with the clear coat we're going to go from side to side and move up the painting. So. Now with the clear coat on there's just one more thing to do and that is to sign your painting and it's done. So I'll just grab my pally knife and I'm going to sign a painting here. So, Right then that's the painting signed and finished. So I hope you enjoyed learning and found this spray paint art tutorial helpful. And if so give it a thumbs up and please share it with your friends and family. Or anyone that you think may be interested in learning this form of art. And also if you're a new visitor to my channel and liked what you saw then please hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss out on future spray paint art videos. It'd be very much appreciated. Also coming up in the next video in the series I'll be showing you how to make a planet under planet and a planet over a planet. So you'll need for this tutorial something to spray on like gloss card or canvas. You're going to need black and white spray paint. You're also going to need a choice of colours. You can choose whichever ones you want. You're going to need something to make the texture on your planet. Like magazine paper or a plastic bag, plastic sheet or anything like that. You're going to need something to sign your work with like a palette knife or whatever you're using. You're going to need a mask and some gloves. You're also going to need three lid stencils. Make sure they're all different sizes. So you want a large one, a medium one, so it's smaller than the large one, and then a smaller one. Just make sure that the medium lid that you're going to choose is something you can easily cut. And you're going to need a craft knife, something like this. And also if you have any questions or want to know something feel free to leave me a comment below and I'll be happy to help. So once again thank you for stopping by and watching. I hope to see you all in the next spray paint art video. Have a great day, take care and bye for now.